Okay, so I have the recipe for these empanadas on my blog. Please make sure to check it out. This is in the description bar. So I'll be showing you how to make these empanadas a patelios, what you will need. First things first, you can make, it's optional, some aquafaba mozzarella cheese, which I will be inserting. I'll leave the description below. I had somebody make these awesome empanadas. They used to work for Goya. And these TVP, of course, and some sofrito. Let's get started, guys. So first things first, we're going to take a third cup of our TVP and pour it into a container. And then add a little more. <laughs> and then we're going to take our sofrito and hot water mixture, which I've placed in here. And you're just going to pour that over the TVP, making sure to get all of that goodness in there and cover it for about five to six minutes. It should look something like this, like this, and a nice and thick mixture. It's really good and yummy and oh, it just tastes so good by itself and it smells delicious. So guys, this is what it should look like. And yeah, now it's time to assemble our empanadas or pastalios. Or pasteles, I don't know, however you pronounce it. Everybody pronounces it different. So I have three laid out. And I'm just going to take about two spoonfuls. Well, I'll spoon out one on each. And then I'm going to go back with another spoonful. And then we're just going to fold these over. Oh, I forgot to put the cheese in. So let me cut up some cheese. And we're just going to place that in the center. Oh, that's too big. We're going to cut that in half. Okay, so you're going to place that in the center and add a little bit more to each. That was good. And you're just going to, yeah, juice is looking, but it's so good. And then you're just going to assemble them like this. And take a fork, handy dandy fork, and press down the edges. And that's basically all you're going to do until all of them are all done. So once they're all done, you are going to take your leftover TVP. I had a lot left over, and I'm just going to scoop this into my sofrito container, making sure to get every drop because this stuff is so good, guys. I want to put it on top of rice. I might do that. So, yeah, you're closing this up, and then you're just going to store this in the refrigerator for later. So now I have four of these. Two for my friend and two for me who made the empanadas. They're awesome. So now we're going to start frying these babies. I'm just going to place two and three spoonfuls of oil until it starts to melt. See how much oil I need. This is a little bit too much oil so I'm going to take a little bit of it out but yeah a nice amount of oil and then we're going to take our empanadas and place them inside of the oil there's like no to, you want it to be hot but you don't want it to be too hot um, we're going to see if we can get all four of them in here because they're pretty small and if you'd like the recipe to these empanada wraps um, I will have my friend do a video on them because they are super close or not even more close to the original empanadas by Miss Supermarket. But I think they sell vegan empanada wraps. I'm pretty sure they do. So this is what they look like, guys. And they're so good. Look at the edges. That's when you know you're ready to flip them. Look at that golden edge. So what we're going to do is flip these over. And look at that goldenness. Ugh. Look at these beautiful things. They're so beautiful. Ugh, can't wait to eat them. And they're nice and crispy. You don't want to over oil them, but it's perfect amount of oil. And then we're just going to let these cook on the other side. Now I'm just going to take a paper towel. And I am going to remove my empanadas. These got a little burnt on one side, but you know what? Who cares? They're still bomb. Now I'm just going to turn them over and yeah, let the oil drain for a couple of minutes, but I didn't want to. I wanted to see what they looked like on the inside, so 
So I am going to show you guys. This is what they look like. They're nice and hot. And, uh, deliciousness. Talk about yummy tastic. These are so good. And they taste so good. Um.